Hi guys, it's Miss Miller. We're going to read a new story, and this story is called Marty Mongoose. This story is serious. It's about the life cycle of animals and nature. This is a science story, and it is a little bit like the Lion King movie, just because it's about animals out in nature and the life cycle. This book is by T. Albert, illustrated by MailIllustrations.com. Marty Mongoose, an incredibly simple story that introduces the concept of the circle of life to children. Set in the shade of a banyan tree, this narrative has Henrietta Heron, Marty Mongoose, Sam Snake, Carl Crayfish, all living in perfect harmony until one day the balance is disrupted. Read on to find out more. Let's find out about all these animals. In the rainforest next to a wide river, there was a great banyan tree. This tree was ancient and provided a home for the many animals living in the area. Ancient means really old, so it's a really old tree for lots of animals in the rainforest. Henrietta Heron had a beautiful nest high atop the banyan tree. Right here, you see it? It's way up there. Carl crayfish lived in tangled roots that entered the river at the water edge. So let's look at the very bottom of the picture, near the river or the water. That's where the Carl crayfish lives. Sam the black snake had made his home under the great trunk of the tree. Marty Mongoose lived nearby. His home wasn't actually in the banyan tree, but close enough. The tree offered a cooling shade during the hot days and protection from the heavy rains that fell every afternoon. Now you must realize that not all animals in the rainforest are friends. They depend on one another for different things, many times for food, to better understand this, let me explain how Henrietta, Carl, Sam, and Marty live within the great banyan tree. So here's Carl. This is Carl. And Henrietta. See these arrows? This tells how they're related. Let's start here. You see all of these animals. So that we have one two, three, four, four animals. Henrietta Heron had built her nest by the river so she would be close to the food she usually ate. Her diet consisted of fish, frogs, crayfish, and even snails. She had a great home. So you see Henrietta looking at the water. See that fish jumping out of the water. See Henrietta's nest with those eggs. Let's see what happens next. Now Carl Crayfish lived within the rocks and roots of the tree. Now you know the roots are at the bottom of the tree. Carl was a really a scavenger. Scavengers are people that really hunt and look for food. He would eat the pieces of food dropped by other animals and his home offered him protection from animals that might snack on him. So he hid in those roots, in those rocks, to stay away from the other people so they wouldn't eat him. Sam the snake had made his home under the great banyan tree as it was close to many things that he liked to eat. Sam preferred bird eggs, but didn't hesitate to eat anything he could catch, except maybe whole crayfish as they were very hard to swallow. So you see here? See Sam the snake, he's got that tongue out, he's ready to eat. Said he really liked to eat bird eggs. Oh, let's see what happens next. Can you guess Marty Mongoose liked to eat? Well, if you said snakes, then you are absolutely correct. Marty liked to eat snakes in all types of sizes. And one day, Henrietta was out looking for food. When she returned to her nest, she found that two of her eggs were gone. Oh no, how sad she was. Something had gotten 
gotten into her nest and eaten two of her precious eggs. Oh, look how sad Henrietta looks. She's so sad. She only has one egg in her nest left. She flew back down to the river so no other birds would see her crying. Then she saw Marty and said to him, Sam must have slithered into my nest and eaten two of my eggs. That is a shame, Marty replied in a sad voice. Oh, what can I do, Henry asked. Now Marty knew that Henrietta and the other herons liked to eat crayfish. And if there were an easy meal to be had, he was very interested. So would you like to get rid of the bothersome snake? He asked Henrietta. Oh, yes, Henrietta sighed. I wish something would eat him. So Henrietta remember is mad at Sam the snake because he ate two of her eggs. Henrietta, I can help you, Marty said. You and your heron friends need to catch all the fish and crayfish in the area. Break them into pieces and leave a trail of food from Sam's den to my home. He will be busy eating the food and he would not realize he is close to me. He will be an easy meal for me and you will be rid of and you will be rid of his egg stealing ways. Henrietta thought for a minute, smiled, and then flew off to talk with the other herons. Look at the herons. I see one, two, three, four, five. Those are five herons. Herons are really, uh, there are birds with really long beaks and long legs, and they like to eat fish. Soon the herons had captured all the fish, crayfish, even poor Carl, and made the trail of food between the snake's den and the home of the mongoose, and they returned to their nest to watch. As Sam slithered out of his den, he was surprised to see all their fresh snacks just lying on the ground. Yummy, yummy, he thought to himself as he began eating. So look, there's Sam the snake. Oh, he's eating everything. See, he's already eating some of the fish down to the bones. It wasn't long before Sam had eaten his way to Marty's home. As Sam opened his mouth to eat the last snack, Marty jumped out from the bushes. Well, I don't have to tell you what happened because you already know. But in case you don't, there was a big burp and Marty returned home. Did you see that? Henrietta asked the other herons. Now our eggs are safer. Several days passed. Marty was hungry, but there were no snakes in the area. The other snakes saw how Sam had been tricked, so they left to find safer homes. Marty looked into the river and realized that the herons had taken everything from it to set the trap. Then he took into the great banyan tree and saw Henrietta. Oh no, that's not good. The other heron saw Marty climbing the tree, but it was too late to warn Henrietta. All they could do was leave their nest and, like the snakes, find a safer home. So look, there's Marty the mongoose climbing the tree to get to the herons. The herons, remember, are the birds. They're flying away to find other places. Now Marty was alone. There was no food in the area and no reason for him to stay in his nice home, protected by the great banyan tree. Now he's sad. He doesn't have any friends or food. The great banyan tree is now empty of all life, but there is circle of life in the rainforest, and it won't be long before new animals arrive at the banyan tree and call it home again. Marty Mongoose, an incredibly simple story that introduces the concept of the circle of life to children. Set in the shade of the banyan tree, this narrative is how Henrietta Heron, Marty Mongoose, Sam Snake, Carl Carfish all live in perfect harmony until one day the balance is disrupted.